it's Monday. It's been another week of health education and another week of mistakes. Here's last week's teaching mistakes in a minute. Hey, it's Monday, and I'm struggling a little bit to get one of my classes going into some dynamic conversations. It's proving that this group is a little bit challenging, and I haven't figured out how to best draw these students into health class conversations. Hey, it's Tuesday, and I'm already looking ahead to the end of the quarter. And in doing so, I accidentally skipped an entire lesson that I wanted to do in my 7th grade nutrition unit. <laughs> Just completely skipped over it. Hey, it's Wednesday, and in 7th grade, we're examining some food documentaries. I give students a choice of three different food uh, films that they can view, and I haven't found a good way to, to push students to choose a newer food documentary. Some of the newer food documentaries would be really beneficial, but students tend to gravitate towards the more entertaining, older, supersize me. Hey, it's Thursday. I had a bunch of 8th grade students out on a field trip today, but I had to make a decision. Do I present a new assignment and one that's a major assignment for the quarter, or do I wait until tomorrow when every student is back in class? And I decided to go ahead and present it, which may have been a mistake because I might be repeating myself tomorrow. Hey, it's Friday. I'm introducing a new unit, looking at gateway drugs, looking at substance use and abuse, and I, I don't think I've figured out the right way to introduce this unit yet for eighth grade. I keep changing things around quarter to quarter, year to year, and I want to settle on a great way that seems to balance the educational part with the appealing part and the entertainment piece. There's last week's teaching mistakes. Goals going into this week, keep my lessons student-centered. To promote and maintain student interest and student buy-in, I want to have students at the forefront of each lesson. I'm hoping this keeps engagement levels high with the ultimate goal of the best education possible. All right, that's it for this week. More next Monday, more right from the health ed classroom, and more mistakes, I'm sure. That's this week's Mistakes in a Minute. Thanks for tuning in.